All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Going into that Conor McGregor fight, UFC 229, October of 2018, had about 4 million Instagram followers. Yes. How about 15 million? You got some catching up. I mean, do. the next day, he was up to <laughs> 10. It was unbelievable. That's what happens when you fight Conor McGregor, and you beat him. Most lightweights say, top to bottom, the toughest matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Muncie, Indiana, USA, big. And now to his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle. All right, Griffin rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this time? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jabs, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight. Huh? His timing is on point. And he caught the kicks. Oh, big elbow. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to his side and trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of point type plum. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. It's like in a zone. It's like the basketball becomes twice the size. This guy today is looking at focus in a zone. Single collar tie now. Huge knee land. Both guys appeared to land there. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. So we pull up the numbers here. 28 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early, and he lands often. High 
Big call for what's land. Now we get back to range. Nice move done as he gets the double leg takedown. The bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. Got to be careful, on bar. He might get a finish here. This might just be a matter of time. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Oh, it's a nice strike there by Nurmagomedov. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Well, we talked about that rich advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Oh, single collar tie here. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. And they separate us. All right, single so collar tie now. 15 seconds. Oh, huge head kick. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Boy, Ty Clinch, a lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attempt. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the mix. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice strike. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, tagged him with the uppercut. Oh, and he caught the kick. All right, he engages in a single power tie here. All right, so no surprise, once again, we find ourselves here in this. All right, so he lands his first takedown of the fight after many failed attempts, so he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his wheelhouse. Let's see what he can do. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, has the guard closed here. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. And he's back up. Big kick lands. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Nermago Meta. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed 
some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Look at us drive his shin into his own body. Beautiful leg kick throw. He landed that punch flush. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big punch from the clinch. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Well, pretty good effort so far, DC. 87 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. And landing with 52% accuracy against Khabib Nurmagomedov. And those knees aren't just for effect. Those are doing real damage. Oh, good knees here, DC. If you're on the wrong end of those knees, what are you, what are you doing to adjust? I mean, you got to begin out of those positions where he's in you. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice down with the head and land beautiful punch to the head. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh! Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your point. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Yeah, you've got to admire the focus and the commitment to getting the finish. You could tell he was in hot pursuit of that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it, so he sets it up beautifully, lets it materialize almost organically, and ultimately gets the desired result. play as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 32 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was a very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He did just that.